The Keweenaw to me feels like a place where you can just learn about anything. Like, you want to learn about cool geology and lava, there's that. You want to learn about forests and the, the things that live in the forests, got that. You want to learn about human history and immigrant culture and past and present engineering, the Keweenaw has that. So to me, as a person who's just very curious and likes understanding why things are the way they are, the Keweenaw is like a treasure trove of information. I love filming here. <laughs> I'm Alexa Stahl, and I'm a science communicator who makes videos about Michigan. Hey there! It's story time. In 2020, I moved from downstate up to the UP, and I grew up in a part of Michigan that was fairly suburban and fairly flat. So coming up to the UP where you've got forests and cliffs and Lake Superior was this, this whole new world of like, what is all of this? First time I ever came up to Michigan's Upper Peninsula and Lake Superior, I was delighted at how many good rocks you can find on the beach. I am a science communicator professionally, which means that I love taking complicated information and making it accessible. And as a hobby, I started making science videos about stuff in the UP and that very quickly snowballed into my new job. <laughs> I hope you learned something that makes you think about the world just a little differently. I post my videos on YouTube. Uh, some people, that makes them refer to me as a YouTuber, which always makes me like a little, little cringy on the inside. Uh, but you can find all my work at youtube.com slash As of today, I have almost 95,000 subscribers. That's so many people. <laughs> <laughs> and they kickstarted a chain of events that would break down this region. My videos are a mix of science and human history and how those things interact. And it's a wide variety of topics from geology to engineering, but really anything around here that catches my eye. So my most watched video, which more than a million people have enjoyed, which astounds me, is a video about the dredge in Torch Lake, um, just the engineering and the sort of chemical process behind what that thing did. But beyond that, one of my favorite things I've ever learned about the Keweenaw that I've loved making videos about um, is an event called the Mid-Continent Rift. This is the cliff I saw on my first trip into the Keweenaw. 1.1 billion years ago, you had this event where the, the land basically started pulling apart and just these unimaginable volumes of lava came to the surface. And that event, you can directly trace like more than a billion years later to people who showed up to mine for copper and like the beginning of all of these mining towns and this culture and things that are still shaping the people who live in the Keweenaw today. One of the coolest things to me about making this series is it's not just about picking up a bunch of scientific papers and reading and summarizing them, but it's about like you can learn something and then you can go in a way almost participate in the story yourself you can read about the cliff mine, and then you can go hike at the cliff mine and be where it happened. The Keweenaw is a place you can go into mines, never an experience I've had before. You can learn about the history and the engineering. You can learn about the people who have lived here and made this region incredible. You can go to the Mineral Museum and learn about every rock you've ever wanted to see. If you want to connect with the history of the Keweenaw, that has always felt so incredibly easy to me here. <laughs> there are so many options, and you can go be part of the story that's been happening for generations and millions and billions of years.